everybody, what's up? Uh, this video automo vlog is brought to you by the old classic diet coke. Um, if you notice, I'm listening. To the carpenters. Why do birds suddenly appear the moment you are near? Um, this was actually this was an iTunes purchase recently that was inspired. Uh, originally, it started out on a 21st century cat video where he and Mr. Funny spent an evening with, I believe her name is X, X I Gert I X. Um, and this was kind of Mr. Funny's valentine to her. Uh, she commented on one of my videos, and we kind of went back and forth about this song. In the end, I bought, I went to iTunes and bought this song and Top of the World. Totally cheesy. 70s song I know but just great um, this got me to thinking when I heard this song especially top of the world this brought back memories feelings and a general sense of being maybe five or six years old the first time I heard it so it's definitely one of those first songs I remember hearing um, I have a very musical family, an extended family rather, that was in a country western band growing up. Um, so I've always had music in my life. And I always remember Saturday afternoons, mom cleaning the house with the radio playing. And I remember some of these AM Gold songs from when I was a kid. Um, and this is definitely one of the songs I remember. I also very much remember uh, Elton John singing Island Girls. You know, it's an Island Girls. And oddly enough, I always thought he was singing I Like Girls, which I think at the time he may have tr been trying to convince himself of that. Uh, I remember Bad Bad Bo Leroy Brown by uh, Jim Croce. At the time, Bad Bad Leroy Brown, I think he says damn in the song, so that always stood out with me. But I always thought he was singing about Charlie Brown. So my musical, earliest musical memories are kind of these AM gold things. I remember being very aware of Dolly Parton. Um, I didn't know any of her music at the time. But back then I had a little, well mom had a record player. And then for Christmas when I was five or six, I got a little, do you guys remember those record players with the snaps and the cover folds up with the speakers in it? And mine was red and white. And, you know, there are different speeds on it. And we'd put a normal album on it and put it at uh, 45, a normal 33, is that how it worked? Or was it 72? And we would speed it up like chipmunks. And we always joked that it sounded like Dolly Parton. I remember thinking about her big old movies. I don't remember much about any Elvis music at the time. I remember Elvis, you know, the, the Vegas Elvis, was a huge um, presence in the house. I think Mom had a live Hawaii album. And I remember him being on that album cover in that white jumpsuit, just looking like a superhero. He had the lays around his neck. But I don't remember any Elvis songs. Um, and, uh, and oddly enough, I don't remember any Beatles music from growing up. I think I really started hearing Beatles songs, gosh, I was maybe in middle school or high school. But I remember one year specifically getting that little record player I mentioned getting a bunch of like Sesame Street albums and whatnot, but I also got an album called Disco Duck by Rick Dees. At the time I thought it was like Donald Duck. I didn't really understand um, 
this disco revolution that was taking place. Now let's see, I was born in 71, so Disco Duck, Kurt, you can help me out here, was maybe from 78. I would have been seven, maybe six years old. I remember Disco Duck. Um, it just stands out. I remember the album. It was cool when I think about it now. Me being six or seven years old and, and using albums and the needles and stuff. But yeah, my nephews, I gave them an iPod for Christmas last year. So music and technology, I guess, follows the generation. So I want to pose this question to you guys. What are some of the first songs or first musical memories that you guys remember? Mine were Island Girls by Elton John, Top of the World by The Carpenters, Bad Bad Leroy Brown by Jim Croce, and definitely Disco Duck by Rick Dees. And like Rubber Ducky and you know Sesame Street stuff, but of actual songs. Um, it wasn't until like sixth grade that I actually got into pop and rock and rock music. Up until sixth grade, then I slowly became aware of like country music. I remember the Oak Ridge Boys, Elvira, Bobby Sue, uh, kind of that whole Alabama mountain music. That was big, partially because my family was in this country western cover band. But the very first songs I remember are the ones I mentioned. So I'd love to hear what you guys remember from your youth. If you really dig deep, dig back, maybe not necessarily what you want to remember. I'd love to remember some Jackson 5 or Beatles. Um, I don't remember that at all. So, just want to do a driving vlog. I had uh, bought these songs, and especially when Top of the World came on, it brought me back to exactly where I lived. Uh, I can almost see the shag carpet. Um, so I'd love to hear what you guys think, what some of your memories are, and check out X1 Gert. 1X, and also I'm going to link this to 21st Century Cats video that kind of got this all started. So now as a joke, I've asked people randomly, why do birds suddenly appear when you are near? They long to be close to you, just like me. Why do stars fall from the sky every time that you walk by? They long to be close to you, just like me. Island girls, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. That's all for now, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.